control goes Kansas. Oh! Over on his roof. A wild ride for the Daytona 500 winner, Matt Kenseth. You see Matt moving in there. You can see him trying to get the window net down. There he comes out. He's coming out. That's good to see. That was Katie Kenseth, his wife there. That's a scary moment for anybody. Definitely a scary moment for Matt. Frustrated. Yeah, I don't agree. Didn't see exactly what caused that. I just saw him kind of bounce out of the line there. Just know at this time of the race that the, the guys are going to start giving less and, and Taking bumping more. harder. And all it takes is just a little bit there when you're in the middle. And no save. Just a testament to the safety of these cars, too, that can take a lick like that. See, Matt's in second place right here behind Ryan Newman. Let's see what happens. He goes to block. Comes back in line. It looks like he may get a tap. Yeah, he gets a oh, tap yeah. from David Reagan. Yeah. Car gets out of shape and then just oh, pirouettes man. on its left side and goes over. We talk about the bump drafting has to be done on the straightaway, and you can see even on the straightaway, if you get hit too hard, it just takes the steering wheel out of your hands as a driver. This was the scary part right here when he's on his roof for so long. for a minute like he might save it but then got down there god right this is tough yeah matt really did a great job if he goes up in front he takes out 15 or 18 cars so he did a great job of, of not creating that situation let's see what dale earnhardt jr saw here as the uh, contact took place right in front of him by jockey for position here oh, Clear right there. Clear all around. Hey, right behind. John West Townley going by. You see, he sees Kenseth's car just rolling over side by side. And you can see in that last shot from Dale Jr.'s that it literally lifted the, the back of the car off the ground whenever David Reagan. Yeah, you see the back end come off the ground on the 16. Just no way to control that. A strange way to see one flip. You don't normally see them do that. No, but these cars have a liftoff point of getting off the ground about 170 miles an hour. And no matter with even with all these safety innovations that NASCAR has put into these cars, you still these cars get in that right situation or wrong they situation. Have to get in the perfect spot. Yeah. yeah. Second time in three years we've seen a car go on its roof here. Two years ago it was Kyle Busch who had a violent rollover down the back straightaway, and now this year it is another veteran. In Matt Kenseth and uh, the 18 car on pit road. He had a lot of damage to that left rear, so they had to fix that and uh, see him still working on it. He was the only car coming down pit road for uh, for service. I said it a while ago, as, as bad as this is for Matt Kenseth, he did a terrific job not to create a, a really huge accident. First of all, I'm only smiling because I landed right side up. <laughs> so that's the only reason I'm smiling. Uh, you know, I, Kyle had a run, and I tried to block the top, but I couldn't get up there in time. And I pulled to the bottom. I saw David there, but I was well clear. And, um, you know, David hit me as I was turning back down in there to bump draft me. You just can't hit somebody when they're turning. The cars aren't just stable enough for that. So uh, I felt David hit me, and then the car just spun out. And really, I was just uh, hanging out and hoping I ended up uh, right side up. Your boss, Jack Roush, walking in. Now we're getting ready for the restart. So the sixth car, a little aggressive on that. Well, I mean, everybody's jumping and pushing it down there. He actually pulled the bottom. He was hitting me real hard to try to, you know, help me get me position. So I don't know. I know I was clear, and I pulled in front of him, and he just hit me square from the back. But, you know, when a car switching lanes, just can't run in the back from him. They're going to spin out. 